welcome to the weekly roundup. Division four time, it's finals time. I'm Wayne Knowles, brought to you from the Portland Hotel with the one and only luscious Luke Hosey. G'day, Knowles. How What's are going you? on, mate? Yeah, not much. Not much? Staying out of trouble? Yep. Yeah. All good. All, All good. good? You're not upsetting anyone or any not, certain people? Not that I'm aware of. Not that you're aware of? Other than just living. Just Other than just breathing? Uh, that's alright mate, let's hope you continue to breathe for a long time mate. Yeah, let's hope so. Let's hope so. The first game was the elimination final out of Blair Athol Reserve and unfortunately for some the chick train has come to a screaming halt. Going down by four points to Edwardstown, 8 goals 11.59, defeating Kilburn, 8.755. The train stopping at all stations oh. now, finished. <laughs> um, up at three quarter time and then don't even bother the both of the scorers in the last quarter, the boys. Lukey McCracken would have been fuming, I reckon. I, was, I saw them a few times this year, yep. I must admit, and I thought they were underdone a few times. I thought yep. they were underdone in terms of fitness, and um, probably not all that surprised. We saw Evanstown play three weeks ago, yep. and um, they played Eastern Park. Yep. And they were 34 points down at three-quarter time. And, they just and won by 22 points. It was 10 goals to one in the final quarter. Wow. Then they beat Kilburn the next week at home last week. And then Kilburn again in the final. So they're on a roll. They're on a roll, they're the Tannies. They're on a roll. And, um, I tipped Kilburn, but it wasn't unexpected that, that uh, Everett's hand got up. So for Everett's hand, we had Colby Blythe with three, Riddings with two, Horgan, Borum and Parsons all kicking singles. With Homburg, Fox, Gorgon, Cavallaro and Blythe in the best, mate. And for the chicks? Yeah, um, I was actually talking to Scotty Galbraith, who was injured last week. I yep. said to him, you've got to watch Colby Blythe, because he was the guy who got him up and running the week uh, against Eastern Park. Yep, big Colby. I reckon he kicked four, four or five in the last half and four in the last quarter. Yep. And Horgan as well. Another one goes stocky lad, plays yep. through the midfield, and uh, gets a lot of the footy. Uh, Corey Mays, another one I've got to watch. Yep. Those three seem to get them up and, the, up and about, and a lad called Carb Vella off about the half-back line goes all right. Cabello, yeah. And, and there's another one called Case goes all right too, so there's four, four or five to watch. But there you go. The end of the, of intel there. the end of the uh, end of the chip train now, and um, they're on Med Monday uh, today, and I know they're on Silly Sunday yesterday. And, Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, McCallum kicked three, Williams two, Foster got one, Nags and Billy Parks kicked one. Yep. Better players were uh, Foster, Darren Francis, uh, Jason Santico, Nags and Corey Preslin. Now, I'm, I was talking to Darren Francis the other week, he said this is his last season, yep. so if it was, well done, well played. I heard Prez is retiring as well, actually. I heard that as well, yeah. so um, I was talking to the lads the other week and um, yeah hopefully it's not true hopefully Prez stays on and so does Darren but Prez is married to uh, uh, Kelly or Kelly Fox it's uh, Ricky, yep. Ricky's daughter yep. so maybe he thinks enough's enough I don't know so, uh, well, there you go anyway uh, congratulations to Edwards Town and they uh, continue to move forward yeah well done to the townies yep. and um, Next game was uh, up at uh, Duncan Fraser Reserve. It was uh, Jeff's Cross, 16-14-110, beating Paraka, 8-7-55. So just flexing their muscles, aren't they, the Rams? They are, they are. Um, they're just starting to put their foot down, and Paraka, you know, missing a few blokes. You know, Brad Mercer through um, suspension, got five games. Um, big big hole to fill up there, really up forward, didn't he? Like, oh. Great puck, great puck, great puck. I mean, there's a guy who's kicked 100 goals in and the time's out in the Barossa League, yep. which is very strong league. Strong league, yeah. Stronger yep. than Division 4. Yep. And, um, yeah. And, so, yes, yeah, very, very good play. So, for Jeffs, we had uh, Gibbs with three, Bald with three as well, Clark Rantas with three. Uh, I reckon that might be Jared. Jared? Yep. Jamie Rand, Clark Rantas with two. Uh, Lad with two, Wood, Smith and Mason all kicking singles with Wood, Smith, Mason, O'Neill and Manny Otis in the best. So yeah, Two of their guns in there, a couple of midfielders with uh, Schmidt, who yep. I reckon is probably the best player in Division 4 that I've seen this year. Yep. And Mason goes really well too, yeah, right. another midfielder. So yeah, yeah, they've got the best midfield in the, in the, in the competition, I think, yep. uh, Jeff's Cross. So uh, for Paraka. Uh, Brad Batten got two, Clark got two, Backer with one, Vandermeer with one, Eagle with one, and Timpano with one. Yep. 
Uh, better place for Mark Mercer, uh, Brad Batten, oh, Brock and Clark. So, yeah, yeah, good 55 point wind on the Rams, Vitz, Vitz Rams over be, the balls. Vitz certainly would have been very happy if it went out of bit low. So, they move um, up to, they go down to the, um, they go to this week now, they play Glenunga, sorry. Um, first um, second semi final out at Webb Oval, mate. So it is Glenunga taking on Jeb's Cross. Mm. This would be a good game. Well, you know, Glenunga had a very good season after coming from Division 5. Yep. Sat on top for most of the year. Wheels, towards, wheels fell off towards wheels, the end. Wheels come off but. a little bit towards the end. They got a lot of, I know they had a lot of injuries, as do it. many and clubs. And a lot of players top up at the Crows. And the clothes, but they don't have a lot of depth out there. Their B grade well, I heard, I actually better. was at Norwood Oval on Friday night, and I sat with a, an old school friend of my brother's that uh, he's tied up at Glenunga, okay. and he reckons they're going to stack their side this week. They're going to get all them players back and make sure that they go through to Division 3. So. I don't think it'll matter. I'm tipping Jeps Cross. You are? Yep. I'm going to go with Glenunga. I just think the home ground advantage, um, and if they do get the likes of McMahon back, um, you know, it's far hard might come back as well. Um, who else has been? Uh, who else has been? Well, Andy Reid's been out. Andy Reid's been out. He's, he's going to be back. Guy Ward. Um, yeah, all, all them guys are going to be back. I just think the class of Glenunga might just rise to the top. It might be a bit underdone though, a lot of those guys. Anyway, it'll be an absolute ripper of a game. So, um, I'm going, I'm Glenunga going, for me by about 15 points. I'm going with Jepsies. I think they'll get the job done. We, we might broadcast the game earlier in the year. Yep. And Glenunga got them late in the last quarter one day and they kicked the bag of goals in the last 15 minutes of the game to win. Nicky McMahon, I reckon, kicked six that day. And... Um, I reckon Jets are just travelling well. They've got a great midfield with uh, with Schmidt and Mason and uh, Clark Mantassa through the midfield. Yep. They've got a really good target focus point with Clark Mantassa up there. Yep. I just uh, Rawlings really good defender. Oh, to me, I think Jets cross the top. Well, there you go. Yeah. Anyway, moving on, the next game is at Limbourne Park, and it's uh, Paraka taking on Edwards Town. Will Paraka rebound, mate? No, I think Edwards Town. No, yeah, I agree with you. I think uh, Mercer, I think they're on a roll. I think Mercer is too much of a, a hole to fill from at the moment, and um, yeah, I know I know they've done really well with interim coaches. Yeah. After Steve O'Connor parted ways with the club, but yeah. come final time. You need, I think you need a, a coach. Oh, and Ocker, Ocker's a really good coach too. Yeah. I mean, he's a, he's a fantastic coach. He won a lot of, what a, a lot of premierships as a coach. Yeah. So he knows exactly how, what buttons to push in the finals time. Anyone that wins as many flags as Ocker knows what they're doing. Um, not saying whoever's got yeah. it now doesn't, but I'm just saying. I think Dale Armstrong's yeah. playing and I don't, I don't know if he's playing at the moment, but. Um, Awfully yeah. difficult if you're playing. But if as you're a playing coach, coach that's, that's, cool. that's what I'm worried about. You can't do it today's You've got to have a great support staff on the sideline if you're a playing coach. And, but anyway, I think I think Edwards Town myself are about 25. They're on a roll. They're yeah. on a real roll at the moment. Townies, and uh, they won their last three after, I think they can think that last quarter against Eastern Park when they rallied. and Got them up and about. Got them up and about, and I think they can go at least to the preliminary final. I'm not so sure they can beat Glenunga next week. Yep. Well, that's assuming that Jeff Swing, which I think they will. Yep. But, hmm. Anyway, that's been Division 4. Thanks for watching. Good luck to everyone playing finals this Sunday, and we'll see you all again next week. Good luck.